How's everybody doing out there? My name is Mike from RootsK9Training.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about prong collars. So if you guys are walking around and you see, uh, see a lot of dogs and owners have, uh, have collars that, that look like this. This is, a, uh, this is a prong collar, also referred to as a pinch collar or a mother's bite. So they call it a prong collar because it has prongs that rest on the dog's neck. Call it a pinch collar because that's the method you use to get the links in and out of each other to make the collar bigger or smaller. You, you, that's exactly what you're doing is you're you're pinching the link to get them in and out of each other. So that's why they call it a pinch collar, and they also call it mother's bite because that's exactly what this collar does when you give a correction is uh, it replicates what a pup would feel from the mother when they've done something wrong which is the mother biting them. So the dogs are biologically built to respond to a tool like this. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of advantages uh, to using a tool like this but you have to introduce it to your dog properly so for instance you wouldn't just put this on your dog when he's never seen it and just start walking them you would uh, put it on them and slowly lead them in the direction that you want so when they start feeling this this pressure that they understand oh I'm supposed to listen to the pressure so you again you don't just throw it on your dog there's a way of introducing it uh, to your dog and I'll be posting another video on that soon so I'll go ahead and show you how to fit it to your dog. Roots, sit, good boy. So when you put it on, you want it to be smooth. You want it to kind of be like one motion. You don't want to sit there and struggle with your dog. You don't want them to think that you don't know what you're doing. So you want it to look something like this. All right, so that's what a prop, that's what a prop, sorry about it. It's windy out here today. Uh, so that's what a prop, this is what a proper fit is going to look like it's snug resting on his neck so if for instance if you're walking your dog and he's healing and he pops out a heel he's going to feel that pressure so it's like an automatic correction correction if you're holding the leash uh, properly and again you just want a snug fit so they get the proper pressure you do not want the collar just hanging on their neck it should be snug when it goes on it should be snug enough that with one hand you can't move it around, but with two hands you can pull it apart and still move it around. So that's how you want to fit a prong collar to your dog.